So as you guys know, in terms of the amount of money it makes, the Viper Ramble channel doesn't do particularly well. Like one individual could probably live off, you know, 2,500 bucks a month. It, it comes up more than this. Like it's usually about 3,000 or whatever. Obviously, it's not just one person working on the channel. It's multiple editors and stuff. And I calculated things and it turns out the channel loses about 100 bucks a day when you factor in the editors and the people making the thumbnails. And that doesn't even factor in like the time that I spend on the channel doing voiceovers and stuff or the management that I do and all that jazz. But I do like the channel. Keep in mind, when it says 4 million views here, it's not talking about main channel views. Like shorts make up 3 million views of this and videos makes a million. And of course, most of the revenue for a channel comes from normal channel views. And if I'm not getting views on the main videos, it doesn't matter really all that much how much I make on shorts. You can see the numbers here if you're curious. I have 22 members, let's go! And two super chats, yeah. There are many reasons why the channel isn't amazingly successful. The first being that it isn't my main priority. It's not the thing that I'm working on the hardest that I can to make it successful. The second, I don't do a lot of stuff that most commentary channels do to be successful. Like I won't talk about things that I don't know much about. I won't throw out a low effort, unedited video about the hot button drama about people that I don't care about because I know it will get views. Like I can see on my channel, the two videos that did the best most recently was the video about Mr. Beast and the video about the Inter Anarchist. There are channels that have thrown out like 20 videos on Mr. Beast and stuff. I know this can get you views, but I'm only gonna make a video if I have an interest in it. If I, if I feel like I have something different to say or interesting to say, I'm not just gonna make a video for, for the sake of making a video. But both those videos, for example, got me a thousand subscribers and got way more money than most videos get. But despite knowing that this could help the channel succeed, I am not willing to jeopardize my values and my morals and stuff and do things that I consider to be unethical to try to get ahead in that game. It's not my main priority. But at the same time, if the channel isn't successful, it will eventually go away. And I like the channel, so I constantly try to think of ways to make things a little bit more cost effective or potentially better able to get views that don't necessarily impact my vision for the channel or my own ethics, right? So there's going to be a few changes to the channel. The first thing you guys won't notice, but I'm going to be recording my rambles straight into my Dropbox folder. So it'll go immediately to you know the cloud so my editors can get it immediately. This will hopefully slightly increase the speed at which things come out. So they can be more topical when I am talking about things that people care about in the social media space. The second thing I've set up is I now have a hotkey that is on my Steam Deck pedal that's underneath my table. When I press it, it auto splits my recording. So every time I do a ramble topic, I'm gonna press this pedal. This will make it so each ramble has its own file as opposed to just giving one editor three hours of footage and they have to kind of like sift through it. It should make it easier for the editors to find the rambles of most importance and to split the footage between the multiple editors so things can come out faster rather than one person having a lot of work and other people having less. Yeah, the third change, I'm going to be removing title cards. Rather than having that intro where it's a voiceover and then I read each individual topic in the entire video, what's going to happen now is I'm going to do an intro live and in the video, the topics will come on the side of the screen, but the topics won't be read throughout the video. Instead, there'll just be some transition sound transitioning to the next topic and it should be obvious immediately what the topic is going to be about, but it'll be like written on the screen somewhere what the topic is. This will enable me to not personally have to slow down the rambles episodes because sometimes the editors will ask me for voiceovers and I'll be busy. I'll be editing a thousand different things. I'll be handling all the other stuff that I need to do. Or maybe I just will ha be having one of my days off with Aitano or something and that delays the episodes a day. And I can also on rare occasions forget to do these voiceovers. My editors don't want to be like chucking rocks at my window or something trying to get my attention. So the episodes might be like two days delayed just because I forgot to do the voiceovers. Oh. Oh. You edit a thousand things every day. How about you make sure Rambles is one of them? I know that's a joke, but I can't personally edit Rambles myself because it's just not the best use of my time. It is the thing enjoyed by a very tiny minority of the audience that watches me. It is also a, a something compared to a lot of other stuff that I do th that brings me less satisfaction. I like the channel. I like rambling. I like talking about these things. I like putting my thoughts out there. I like uh, having a history of my views on certain things. I, I like a lot of what the Ramble channel brings me, but at the same time, pretty much everything else I do is more important to me. If I had to cut off one section of my content, it would be Rambles. That doesn't mean I don't like it or don't want it to continue to exist. It just, it has to be a, a lower priority. So yeah, removing those voiceovers is the third thing. The fourth change is I'm going to bring back some legacy Rambles in that 
There will be no individual Legacy Rambles episodes anymore. There are going to be normal episodes with maybe like a topic or two of Legacy Rambles tacked on to the end. So every episode will have, generally speaking, you know, 75% or whatever new content. And there'll just be two more still relevant, interesting rambles that people can watch. And even if you've heard them before, which most people probably haven't, they'll still be interesting because you haven't heard them in a, a million years, right? I'm doing this in part because there is just so much rambles footage on the main channel that is still good, still relevant, still interesting that it is inaccessible to everyone right now, and I would like that to come out to the public again. The second thing, it will, it will enable me to have more episodes come out more frequently, rather than having, say, like, 15 minutes of rambles sitting there, waiting for another five minutes to come along, and I don't ramble for the next seven days, so the episode just doesn't come out. It, it just will mean we can fill in the episodes, so stuff can come out close to when the events actually happen, rather than what happens still now to this day, where it can be sometimes multiple weeks before I talk about a topic that is long since dead, that, and no one cares about it. A big reason why the Internet Anarchist video and the Mr. Beast video did a lot of views isn't simply because, you know, they're kind of drama videos, but it's also because I released them very quickly, close to when these events actually happened. That is something you need to do in the commentary space, and something I've never really focused on, because, again, this commentary, these, these rambles, whenever a huge focus of, of what I do and what, what grows me as a, a brand and a creator, and what brings me satisfaction in my work. The fifth change I've made, which we'll see how this goes, I have finally opened up the rambles section page to everyone, not simply my mods, Patreon people, which I closed my Patreon, but some people still stayed on the Patreon, so they still had access. And my Twitch subscribers and YouTube members. It's now just everyone. You do not need to have in some way financially supported me to suggest rambles. And there is a lot of crap here. That's probably in a large part because whenever you open a part of a Discord, everyone just swarms it and types whatever they can to get noticed or whatever. I suspect I will probably ignore the vast majority of what gets posted here, because again, I only want to talk about things that I personally know about or have some interest in. I don't want to just cover the general news that other people are talking about, which is what other people do. It's not of interest to me. But this will still likely remind me of things that I've seen that I could talk on, or make me aware of things that once I look into them, I will find things to say uh, about those topics. And that will enable me to ramble more, and that will mean more episodes, and I I'll cover a, a wider amount of topics, so hopefully that will be good. Or it could end up being a complete shitfest and it just clogs up this feed and I'll have to close again, but we'll see what happens. So there is one other change coming to the Rambles channel. If you compare videos on my Rambles channel to my videos on my main channel, my main channel gets a click-through rate of 4.6%, but on the Rambles channel, it has a 5.8%. So people are more likely to click my Rambles channel videos than my main channel videos. The difference, though, is that my main channel videos get pushed out far more because the average view duration is 18 minutes and 6 seconds, which is a lot, compared to just 8 minutes on the Ramble channel. If you look at the engagement of videos on my Ramble channel, average percent viewed, 42%, and like 30% are getting to the end, like this gray is the average here, that's pretty good. People do traditionally get to the end of my videos. Some of my rambles have like a 50% rate at which people get to get all the way to the end, right? Let's look at this one. Got like only 14k views, but the engagement is like 43% got to the end. And like it's got a, a 4 or 5% click-through rate. That's very good, but it's just not getting anywhere. What I think I'm going to do is stop trying to compete with the channels who are spamming out videos, try and talk about the relevant recent news right now, the drama of the day. I'm going to try and make longer videos, package more topics into singular videos, and not compete in that quick, fast commentary game, and more compete in the comfortable background noise area of YouTube. Try to increase the average watch time of the videos on the channel, and hope that that will result in the algorithm pushing my videos more. Certainly, I don't think the main problem with the channel is that the videos are too short. I mean, 20 minutes is still a, a good amount, and rambles were more successful on the main channel and they were only 20 minutes. But I think this would be a good experiment to see if, uh, you know, getting a bit more watch time per video would help the channel in general. So that's the next thing that's gonna change. I'm gonna be aiming for, like, having the compilation videos of multiple topics be about half an hour, and the solo topics be at least 12 minutes. That being a change from 20 minutes to half an hour and uh, about eight minutes to 12 minutes. And hopefully that will help things, and we'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, I'll go for a bit longer until I've experimented with that enough over the next couple of months. And if it still doesn't work, I'll try something else. If you've got some funny memes about my moustache, feel free to put them on my posts on Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter, and we'll um, look at them tomorrow. As they always say, if you see some issue in life and you, you want, and, and it's, it's a problem, of course, you should work in some way to try and change it and improve it if you truly care about it. And I care about rambles, so I will constantly try and 
retool things to make it work. And I think these measures that I'm putting in, in here will uh, hopefully help things. I guess we'll find out. Stop! Now that I have your attention, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. I wish you all the best.